My name is Dr. Robert Chase. I am the chairman of the Department of Petroleum Engineering and Geology at Marietta College. Uh, this is my 35th year in that position. A petroleum engineer's job is to find and drill, explore for oil and gas in rock formations deep in the earth. As a petroleum engineer, you can work in uh, one of three different areas, usually. Uh, the, the three areas are drilling engineering, production engineering, and reservoir engineering. A drilling engineer's job is to be out there on the rig uh, and supervise the drilling of a borehole uh, deep into the earth to access rock formations that contain oil and gas. Uh, the drilling engineer is responsible for preparing that well to be placed on production and once that task is, is completed, that person's job is done. Uh, at that point, a production engineer takes over. A production engineer's job is to figure out which rock formations have the oil and gas in it, and then figure out the most effective way to produce that oil and gas, bring it to the surface. Uh, the third area that uh, petroleum engineers work in is called reservoir engineering, and Reservoir engineers are responsible for evaluating the quantities of oil and gas down in the earth. Uh, they do a lot of uh, computer work, a lot of calculations, and they also do studies. Uh, they use a lot of reservoir simulation to try to simulate how oil and gas is flowing in the rock and then uh, look at optimum ways, look at the optimum strategies uh, to get that oil and gas out. It might mean drilling additional wells or it might mean actually flooding the formation with water or carbon dioxide to help enhance the recovery from that reservoir. The average day of a petroleum engineer is anything but average. Uh, if you're a drilling engineer, uh, typically you're working out on the rig uh, for a 12-hour shift unless something goes wrong but sometimes your days can be very long if you're a drilling engineer and you run into any problems, uh, as we sometimes do. Uh, a production engineer's job is a little bit more stable. Uh, production engineers are responsible for uh, producing the oil and gas, designing the equipment like pumping units that you see around the countryside, uh, responsible for designing that equipment and then maintaining it. So uh, typically their, their jobs are much more stable. It's a, usually an eight hour job, eight hours to 10 hours a day. And then uh, finally the reservoir engineer's job is, is very much more regimented. It's a, more of an office job. Sometimes you're in the field testing wells and gathering data, but more likely than not, you're, you're in the office and you put your eight hours in, and unless it's crunch time, and then you're putting extra hours in. So. There's no such thing, though, as a routine day in any of the three phases. I, I would encourage any student interested in the field to take all of the mathematics they can get. Uh, you need algebra, trigonometry, uh, pre-calculus at least in high school, and if you can get a calculus course, it's even better. Uh, chemistry is important in your background because petroleum is a, a chemical substance, so you, you will have to know chemistry, and you'll take more of it in college. You need physics. Physics is very important also. So of, of, of all the sciences, in my mind, physics and chemistry are the two most important. Uh, biology is also useful because there are certain things that we do in our business and that we come across that uh, require knowledge of biology and, and the environment. A student majoring in petroleum engineering is going to start out with some very basic science and mathematics courses. You're going to start out taking calculus, you're going to take uh, chemistry, and then probably a course that's unique to petroleum engineering is geology. Uh, students take uh, uh, a course that deals with the history of the earth, and then another course as a freshman that deals with understanding rocks and minerals, because that's, that's what we're dealing with all the time. The major portion of your petroleum engineering education occurs in your last two years, like most majors. Uh, those courses you'll take will be uh, drilling engineering, production engineering, and reservoir engineering courses to round you out so that when you graduate, uh, the education that you get from a program like ours at Marietta, uh, along with uh, hopefully some summer job experience uh, that companies make available to our students, uh, when you graduate, you have the opportunity to select the area that you want to go into. The job market in petroleum engineering is 
is nothing short of incredible. Um, you know, you can get jobs, you can find jobs right here in your backyard of Ohio right now because of the development of the Utica Shale that's going on. We've got companies like Chevron, Shell, uh, all, all the big companies, Exxon, uh, that are now operating uh, drilling wells and exploring for oil and gas right here in Ohio. The equipment used in petroleum engineering is, uh, well, it, it varies depending on whether you're a drilling engineer, a production engineer, or a reservoir engineer. A drilling engineer uh, is responsible for supervising that giant drilling rig that sits on the location and is used to drill the hole deep into the earth. The uh, production engineer, on the other hand, his responsibility or her responsibility is to do everything that's necessary to make that well produce. Reservoir engineer's main tool is the computer. If you're interested in, in, in a field where you're working outdoors, you're working with people of different backgrounds, and you have strong math, science skills, and, and you love that kind of work, and you're, you're interested in engineering, I don't think there's a better field that you could go into than petroleum engineering. It's exciting. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just a wonderful field. It's just been uh, one that has captivated people for the last 150 years. It's just a very exciting field to be part of. Thank you.